Before selecting security roles, it's important to understand the basics of security elements and record ownerships. So a record can be owned by either a team or user, and for this video I'll be specifically talking about user security. So moving on, each user is a part of a business unit, and this is essentially another term for their department or division. Now each user will also have records they own, and lastly each user can be granted one or more security roles. So a single user can have a role as a project manager, consultant, team member, and so on. In the end, all of these elements will help you decide what security levels to choose for each user. Now let's get into the video. To create a security role, select Settings, Security, and then select Security Roles. So Dynamics 365 already comes with a list of out-of-the-box security roles, and this is the list that has already been configured to the system. Now when you want to create a new role, the rule of thumb is to copy an already existing role by going up to Actions and then selecting Copy Role. This is because when it comes to creating security roles, you don't want to create one from scratch or edit an already existing role. Now the next step is going to be giving a name to this role, and once you do that, select OK. On this form, we can see the different tabs that will lead us to the different areas where we can configure this role. So we can see that there is a tab for Core Records, Marketing, Sales, Service, Business Management, Service Management, Customization, Missing Entities, Business Process Flows, and Custom Entities. So I'm going to go ahead and open Business Management. Now within Business Management, there's a list of entities where the user can be granted access to different security levels based on the allowances to create, read, write, delete, append, append to, assign, and share the specific entities. Now at the bottom you'll notice there's a legend, so if there's no piece of pie selected, that means that the user won't be able to access any records. If there's one piece of pie, that means that the user can only access records that the user owns. If there's half a pie, then the user can only access records within the business unit. Now three quarters of a pie means that the user can access records in the business unit and below. And if there's a full piece of pie, then that will mean that the user can access all the records within the organization. Now let's take a look at the security rules assigned to the goal entity. Right now, the project manager has permission to create a goal. However, they can only read records that they own, but they are able to write delete, append, append to, assign, and share all of the records within the organization that are specific to the goal entity. Now let's say I wanted to change the security for assign and share from all access to only within the business unit. Now this change would allow the user to create a goal, however they can only read the records that they own, but they can write, delete, append, and append to all the records within the organization However, they can only assign and share the records within their business unit. And the security role might seem more appealing for someone who's a team member working on the project. Now let's go take a look at the core records tab. So just like in the business management tab, there's a list of entities and the different security roles that can be adjusted. And when we scroll down, there's a section for miscellaneous privileges, and here you can also adjust these security roles accordingly. Now remember to save any changes you want to keep by going up to the top and selecting save. Then once you're done you can save and close this file and the new security role will show up here alphabetically. And that is how you can create and manage your security roles.